ongoing trend of wanting to stand out, wanting to be special, wanting to have something unique about yourself while also trying to stay on trend. So I figured what better place to speak about this than Ikea because one, Ikea is just a cool place to be. It's literally like an experience in itself and also it's an example of standardization but not too much so that it still has certain unique aspects to itself that make it cool and trendy while also not being basic. In this digital world of trends, there's this pressure to not only stay on trend but also have some kind of selling quality or unique qualities about yourself. Essentially, you're cool because you're trendy and keeping up with the trends, but you're also not like everyone else because you have something about you that stands out. That's where the it girl, pick me girl trend, or not like the other girls trend started. You have to be pretty and have the perfect makeup, as well as fit the current beauty standard, but at the same time, not be too much like everyone else, otherwise you'll risk being labeled as cliche or just like everyone else. Not just in social media, but also in things like applying to med school. You have to have all of the components of being this perfect applicant, having enough research, community service, volunteer hours, medical experience, but also something or special cool that stands out about you and that makes you different than all the other applicants. This comes to a point where applicants are scrambling to find some really random or esoteric thing about themselves to make them stand out so they'll have that fit factor or that extra edge over the competition. There's always this pressure to stand out or have something unique about yourself. At the same time, we have this dilemma where essentially nothing that we ever do is entirely unique or something someone hasn't already done before, unless it's curing cancer. For example, aesthetics were really popular for a while, and they still are, and aesthetics as a concept give us an opportunity to identify with a certain personality or concept, and in so, gives us a feeling of comfort and belonging. And in trying a bunch of aesthetics, or in trying to fit in with a certain aesthetic that will realistically only catch your attention for a couple months before you're on to the next, you end up over-consuming and buying a bunch of things that you think will appeal to you in the moment. We end up with a closet full of scrambled and mismatched pieces that, in the end, we don't know what to wear or have a sense of what our aesthetic really is, feeling just plain exhausted and confused. And I'm guilty of doing the same thing, buying a bunch of trendy pieces just because they're trending in the moment and I think will fulfill my need to fit into a certain aesthetic but end up with a bunch of clothes I wear once and then never again while never finding something that truly fits me. It gets to the point where in trying all these trends to find what works for us and our personality, and not just fashion-wise, but also in the realm of self-help, lifestyle, academics, you name it, we lose our personality and ourselves, our sense of identity in the process. And it's the same with pre-meds. In trying so many different clubs and activities and shiny new medically related experiences, just so we can try to stand out as an applicant while also fulfilling all of the perfect standards of a perfect applicant, it's really easy to lose sight of the main purpose why we're doing all these activities in the first place. The same goes for any other trend. We get caught up in trying to be like everyone else just to make the mark, while at the same time trying to find ways to stand out such that we lose our sense of identity and sometimes even purpose. I think one important thing I've come to realize is that no one will have one singular thing that is completely unique about them. Among the now around 8 billion people in the world, as well as everyone else who has lived in human history, there isn't going to be one singular thing that you've done differently or uniquely that someone hasn't already done. But what is unique about every one of us is the combination of things that, put together, make us who we are. Ariana Grande wasn't the first person to wear a high ponytail, but this, in combination with her popularity as a singer, simple and chic presentation, childhood career backstory Nickelodeon, journey to stardom, confidence, and overall personality and comfort in being herself, makes her who she is and makes her, taken all together, unique. In the same way, no one is going to have the same exact combination of experiences, talents, hobbies, likes, dislikes, experiences, insights, preferences, you name it, as you do. I may not be the only person to start a YouTube channel, but I'm the only person who, all put together, has a YouTube channel, is pre-med, loves K-pop and K-dramas, is under 5 feet, grew up in insert state, loves wearing solid colored crop tops in 50 degree weather, loves black coffee, has a mole at exactly 2 millimeters from the corner of my left mouth corner, and the list goes on. And that, my friend, is what makes us all unique. Not one thing, but a single combination of things. Not fixating on a single aspect of a person, but the whole person. Even when making this video, I struggle to strike a balance between choosing a theme that hasn't been excessively done or talked over already, while also trying to find something that would be interesting and that is trending or up to date with the times, and trying to use special techniques that will increase engagement, click-through rate, and viewer retention. In trying to fulfill these things, I ended up almost not even making the video. So don't let your worry of not being in trend or repeating something that's already been done stop you from doing 
what you want or hold you back from being the person you want to be. Something my parents tell me is to take the positive and discard the negative. Be selective with what you consume. Media-wise, advice-wise, pre-med-wise, life-wise, and it's definitely a skill. But one we need to have living in an age where information overload can be very detrimental to our mental and emotional well-being and personal growth. Trends and micro-trends are fun to participate in, and sometimes you'll find something that really resonates with you. But that's where they should stop. For fun, as a trend. Don't try to change yourself excessively to fit a certain trend or to fit the mold of a perfect applicant. Take what you like, what will help you grow as a person or what you enjoy, and leave behind the toxic or what makes you feel uncomfortable, inadequate, or negatively about yourself. Use the things you come across in life for inspiration and to change things you believe will improve yourself for the better. But be selective. Know yourself. Don't lose yourself or forget who you are in the process. Take in and try new things you like or discover will fit your unique self because everyone is different and different things work for different people. But in the wake of trends and trying to stand out, don't forget who you are. Remember who you are. Have a stable home base to return to. So what if you like cow print that was from two years ago? So what if you're not in the organization that every other pre-med is also in? So what if you like the same pop song that's been charting number one and playing on every radio station? I'd rather listen to something that I like rather than trying to listen to some punk Metallica rock fusion alien core song from 50 years ago just to have an eclectic playlist and not be labeled basic. Own it. Own your likes, your dislikes. The fact that I'm owning up to this and frankly owning this is just something that adds to my own personality and who I am as a person rather than trying to be someone or something that I'm not just to either stand out or fit in. We're so focused on crafting this particular narrative that we've really forgotten the truest one. To stay true to yourself, being who we are and owning it, quirks and basicness included. This also comes with living in a generation where technology and social media creates this overabundance of information. Recognize that you have the power to moderate it and the power to take a break when you need it or feel like you're getting overwhelmed. It's definitely a problem I didn't have when I wasn't on social media or having to apply to different competitive programs. So definitely take a break if you feel like you need it. Your mind will thank you and that true personality and inner child inside of you will definitely thank you. In a time where trends come and go in a hyper speed and so many things change from day to day, keep that one sense of constancy and remember to stay true to yourself and most importantly, be yourself.